Hello, I'm Professor Tim Flannery. I want to talk about how the COVID pandemic has given us some real clues about how to deal with the climate crisis. We know, for example, that we have to act early to contain the problem. In terms of the climate crisis, the time to act is now, and we've got to contain the problem by reducing the, our emissions of greenhouse gases. We also know that we need an emergency room effectively for badly affected communities and environmental assets. Um, that emergency room might take the form of um, special funding to deal with particularly critical um, uh, areas. Um, but we need to be innovative in that way. And ultimately, to solve the problem, we need the equivalent of a vaccine. For the climate problem, that's to reduce our emissions to almost nothing and then start drawing some of the greenhouse gases out of the air using trees, seaweed and other means. In terms of the transformation that our society will have to undergo to address climate change, the biggest one really is our source of energy. Outside here, with sun and wind, we have more energy than humanity will ever need for everything that it can imagine. Um, if we can just shift to those clean energy sources for our electricity and for our transport and for industrial processes, um, we can live a very good quality of life without impacting uh, the planet's climate system. In terms of trying to get back to business as usual after the COVID pandemic, we should keep in mind that after the 2009 financial crisis, emissions rose 5% because we'd failed to target the sources of pollution as we tried to rebuild our economy. We can't afford to make that mistake again. As we rebuild today, we need to rebuild with clean, green energy sources and everything that flows from that.